Guys, I figured it out. I figured out the secret to just printing money through online training. And the craziest part is you don't need a ton of followers. You don't need to be a tech wizard. You don't even need to know how the Instagram algorithm works. I mean, it changes all the time. And if you're watching this video, you probably heard of me before. I'm the guy that teaches sports coaches how to make $10,000 a month by leveraging social media and online training. Right. I've worked with 90 plus other coaches, teaching them the systems that I used to make over $250,000 in just 10 months. Um, I trained over 250 athletes online, used to run a remote baseball training business. Now I'm just teaching other people how to do what I just did. Just like my client Peyton, he made $23,000 with less than 200 Instagram followers in just 30 days. My boy Anthony just hit his first $10,000 a month the other day. He has like 4,000 followers on Instagram, right? And so most people out there are thinking that you need some secret sauce in order to have success through online training. Like you need just a huge following. You need, you know, I don't know, some like super fancy tech background. And, you know, to be honest with you, it's none of those things. And in this video, oh, I might have to cut that one out. I usually leave those edits in. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna tell you the actual secret to just printing cash through online training because too many people out there think that, you know, there's some magic pill, some magic sauce that if they just post one viral video, then all of their problems will be solved. If I had a huge following, then online training would be easy. If I was good with technology, then online training would be easy. And the, the reality of the situation is that none of those things are true. Okay, and, and you're probably sitting here thinking, all right, dude, just get on with it. What is the secret to printing cash through online training? And the secret is consistent action. That's it. The secret is consistent action. Okay. And so if there's one thing that I've learned after working with over 350 people in the online space, particularly in sports, is that consistency wins. Okay. A lot of my clients are baseball coaches. And so baseball is a game of consistency or golf is a game of consistency or basketball is a game of consistency, soccer, etc. Every single sport is a game of consistency. And it's so funny that I work with coaches who teach athletes about consistency, about doing the work, running the plays every single day, practicing, showing up, and not just practicing and showing up, but doing the right work, okay? And so after having generated, you know, half a million dollars online in the past 18 months, that's what I found to be true. I used to, you know, be a baseball player. Um, I was very inconsistent for much of my career until I kind of figured out that consistency was actually going to be the key. And I didn't really figure it out too late or until too late. You know, I set a school home run record my last year of college baseball, which is awesome, but I was already 24. And so I've since learned that consistent action, the right consistent action is going to be the separator because I hear people every single day, every single day, whether it's clients in my program, whether it's people in my DMs, whether it's people on calls where I'm trying to, you know, enroll them into my program, they're asking about it, whatever. And, you know, they, they sit there and they, and they tell themselves, oh, I don't have a big following, so online training is not going to work for me. It's like, well, how do you think the people with big followings got big followings? Do you think they were born with a big following? I was just talking to one of my clients, Ian Jenkins, yesterday, one of my best clients. And he was telling me how he has people who were like, oh, if I had your following, then I would post on social media. And it's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg type thing? But in this scenario... Why do you think Ian has such a big following? Do you think that he was born with a big following or do you think that he posted three times a day every day for a year and grew his following? What do you think 
is more realistic? I'll let you answer that. But the reality of the situation is that consistent action is, is what's always going to win, right? And so Ian didn't sit around thinking, oh, if I had a big following, then I would post more on social media. He thought to himself, if I grew a big following on social media, it would provide me with a ton of opportunity. What are the actions that I need to take in order to make that happen? And so what did he do? He planned it out. He had a plan. He had a goal in mind. But he didn't stop there. Because I'm sure that a lot of you out there are like, oh, I'll start doing online training. But, you know, I need to get a few things together. I'll start building my social media presence, but I need to keep planning. I'll start building out my remote program. I just need to get a couple things in order. And what's so funny about that is, you know, you just plan for forever. You just plan and write stuff down and think about it to get your ducks in order. And the, the funniest part is that, you know, if, if let's say you're a baseball coach and you're trying to teach somebody how to swing a baseball bat, you'd probably tell them that theories can only get you so far and that you need to take more swings in order to figure it out. And it's hilarious that when you tell me that you need to figure some stuff out before, you know, moving forward, before trying it on your own, or even like going into my program, it doesn't matter, right? To me at the end of the day, like I don't need anybody's money. Like there are plenty of people out there who are gonna join my program. So I don't need any individual's money, right? At the end of the day, I'm here to help people. But they sit there and, and they tell me, oh, I need to, uh, I just need to plan a couple more things out. And I think it's hilarious because I'm like, well, you've been planning for the last two years. Like, you know, Newton's, one of Newton's laws is that an object in motion will stay in motion. An object at rest will stay at rest. We want to keep doing the same things. We want to keep planning. We want to keep doing nothing about our situation. But the secret to success, the reason why the most successful people have success is because they're able to take consistent action on the things that they don't want to do over and over and over and over again. And they're doing the right things. Okay, because activity does not equal productivity, which is a lesson that I've been learning recently. But people ask me all the time, like, Nick, how are you doing what you're doing? Like, what do you mean, how am I doing what I'm doing? It's Sunday, 4.30 on a Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting here recording a video I'm at my girlfriend's house right now. And I just got this inspiration. And I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this video to prove my point that success is all about consistent action because I only have, I think 218 YouTube subscribers at this point. And pretty soon I'm gonna have a thousand. And then soon enough, I'm gonna have 10,000. And then I'm gonna have 20,000 because I'm never gonna stop because I'm gonna take consistent action. And so a lot of people will say, if I had a ton of followers, then I would, you know, post on social media. How do you think people get a ton of followers? How do you think people get good at online training? How do you think people get good at talking to the camera? I've been talking to the camera for almost nine minutes now, just nonstop spouting off the top of my head, right? With a little bit of planning. It's because I do this every single day. I was not born with the ability to just riff. I practice. I practice a lot. So much so that it's Sunday, 4.30 in the afternoon. I could be sitting here drinking a beer, sitting by the pool. It's a beautiful day out here in Arizona. I could be doing anything else, but yet here I am to prove my point that it's consistent action. I had an idea and I did it. And so for any of you guys out there, that are watching this video, that are thinking, yeah, but how is it gonna work for me? The answer is that you have to make it work for you. And sometimes you have to get help in order to make it work. Sometimes you're gonna have to part with your points, with your money, in order to learn how to do something. 
Sometimes you're going to have to pay somebody else to teach you how to do something because as a coach, you're asking other people to pay your bills, right? In order to teach them stuff that they don't know how to do as well as you do. And here you are trying to figure it out on your own. Like you really don't even believe in coaching, which is ironic, but that's a total separate video. The point that I'm trying to make today is if you want to have success, then you have to be consistent and you have to do it over time every single day. The more success I have in my business, it's a byproduct of the things that I was doing 30, 60, 90, 120, 180 days, two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. My business today is a culmination of the 26 years of life that I've lived. It's a byproduct of who I am, who I've become as a man. But I recognize that if I continue to take the actions that are going to lead to the results that I want, then over enough time, I'm going to achieve everything that I want in my life. You know, the more you watch my YouTube videos, the more you're going to be like, Damn, this guy's smart. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's wise. He's been through a lot. He can really help me. If this is your first video you've ever watched, and I said, hey, like buy my program, you'd probably think I was insane. But if you watch 14 more of them, I dare you. I dare you to go watch 14 more of my YouTube videos. All the way through. Figure out who I am. I dare you to watch every single one of my YouTube videos and still have the belief that I don't know what I'm talking about, that I can't help you. Because for what I charge, it's an absolute bargain. (laughs) It really is. It really is. So what you need to understand is that if you keep telling yourself tomorrow, the next day, and even in five minutes. I will do this in five minutes. No, do it now and do it over and over and over and over and over again. I know that I'm going to be wildly successful. Like I've had people be like, Nick, you're gonna, you're gonna do well in life. You know, they'll be like, you're gonna be successful in this business, I can tell. <laughs> and I'm like, brother, you have no idea. Check out my last YouTube video. Like I know. Just waiting for the rest of the world to catch up. I've known. But it's because of the inputs that I put in every single day. It's because of what I do every single day. It's the man that I am. It's who I've become. I take consistent action on the things that I don't want to do. Like record this video telling you to get up and do the thing that you don't want to do. Because that is what's holding you back. And so you don't need more time. You don't need to think about it. You just need to take action right now. Do not wait another moment. And if you determine that you need help, that you don't actually know what you're doing, then get the help necessary because people out there can help you no matter what it is. You are not helpless. You just need to get the help. And the only reason you wouldn't want to get the help is because of your ego, because you think that you can figure it out on your own or that you don't understand how money works, right? Because if you're not willing to pay money to figure out how to do something faster, it's actually so illogical because you can always get more money. You can never get more time back. And so if you're sitting here willing to spend time rather than money, you must admit to yourself that logically that does not make sense. Okay. So consistently take action. Do the things that you need to do. And over time, over a long enough time horizon, maybe you can buy a $15,000 watch. Maybe you can have a $63,000 month before the age of 27, move into a penthouse. Maybe you can do all these things. Maybe you won't, but you'll never know until you start doing it. 